its attachment so I could play Doom when it came out. I had the original PlayStations with a link cable because back before we were all playing online, I'd invite my buddy over to play Doom with me with my two picture-in-picture -picture televisions. Sending the video signal from his PlayStation to my picture-in-picture -picture and my video <laughs> signal to, yeah, yeah. I've got my I've got my Mattel head-to-head -head football. I've got my original Mattel. But I've got all these games. I'm a gamer, right? Um, I have my PlayStation, my Xbox, my 360, all of that stuff. So Pokemon is not my style of gaming. But here's my real pet peeve with it. These things have destroyed conversation, and I am all about the art of conversation. So if Pokemon Go wants me to play, it becomes an audible game, not having to look down at the screen while I'm standing with five of my friends in the middle of the street. It should say, there's a Pikachu just up the street. Ten more paces and you'll find a Pikachu. If I wore an earpiece, I could, or I could play it on speakerphone, then all my friends would be like, dude, I heard that, let's go, and we'd be looking at each other. Instead of this, that's not gaming for me. No, it's, I'm glad you, if you play it, that's great. That's, I mean, it's fantastic. I'm like Destiny 2, I'm like Halo, I'm like Borderlands, I'm like, I have only played co-op multiplayer games. Why? Because I don't need to beat 15-year-old sweaty guys at Destiny. <laughs> I want to play with a bunch of 40-year-old guys that have families, so while we're gaming together, we go, so dude, how are the kids? Yeah, what's going on? Oh wow, man, I'm blowing up the boss. I'm looking for any little help during this EP. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, I want to play with my friend. <laughs> and Pokemon Go was making me look at my phone. I don't know, I don't play it anymore. There you go. But I am a gamer. Trust me, I'm a gamer. It's a disease, but a good disease. You got another question for me? Yeah. Oh, flaming Motrin. <laughs> All right, let's get another question for me. Nobody? Yes. I don't do any of rich stuff. I don't do any stuff like that because I work for Konami and they are not big fans of the freedom. So I don't say it ever. <laughs> let's get another question for me. Yeah. I was the first part of the question. Well, well I appreciate you thinking my career is impressive. I, I do appreciate that. Um, um, I was explaining today that that it is nice to be recognized for what I do for a living, um, but it's a job, right? So, like, whatever you do for a living, if, if people came to your place of business and asked for your autograph, you'd be like, what is this? This doesn't make any sense. So it's a bonus. It's not like I became an actor or a musician to sign my name on something and, and make a living as part of it, as part of that. Um, so my goal with everything that I do is, and I think this is my goal as an artist, is if you are given the opportunity to be creative, um, I want to make you think and feel, whatever it may be. So if I get to work on something that is makes you laugh, then that's great. If I work on music that makes you cry, then I appreciate that too because that's another emotion that I'm able to share as an artist with you. Because if we're not moved by stuff one way or the other, we're not really alive, right? All emotions are good stuff. You know, it's part of life. So my next goal would be whatever I work on, someone like you says, I loved it, hated it, laugh, cry, whatever. That's all I want to do. Um, and have an opportunity to do it. It's more, it's more satisfying to me that I have a, a chance to show off what I do in an opportunity to audition or present. If I just waited at home for the phone to ring, thinking I'm so great, why aren't people calling me? That's not a career, right? So I can, it's great to get the gigs, but it's also really great to have an opportunity to try for the gig. So I just want more auditions. I hope that when I get home, I have some auditions waiting for me. I like that. I like the opportunity to, to you know, get up to bat. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm about to do, um, finish a new song that, I, that I'm producing. 
but instead of doing an album or a video that stars me, my older daughter is a dance major in college, and she's getting into dance, photography, and video. She, she does choreography, and she's been shooting stuff as part of the class, and I thought, you know what would be kind of a cool thing? You cut the video to my next single. Not me. I don't even want to be in it. You get all your dancers, you do all the things you want to do, and it's not like a dance video, but you get put movement in it, and you interpret it. I won't even tell you what the song is about, you do that. So that's kind of like my next thing is letting some of the brains go and seeing what other people do. It's like when people do fan fiction and stuff like that. It's interesting when people say, I love this song that you wrote and I cut this thing together. That's what it's about, right? This is what the story is short. If that's what you got from it, then that's what it's about. So I, I'm kind of in that mode now of let's see where other people, you know, hear what I'm doing. So.